Hello everybody, this is Mr. Longo, and in this video we are going to cover how we use our graphing calculator to find a couple of important points that will be very helpful in other units with quadratics, polynomials, all sorts of other stuff. So, basically what you have to do is type your equation, x cubed minus 3x squared minus x minus 2 into y1 of your graphing calculator. And in Y2, you're going to want to type a zero, and I will explain a little bit more of why um, once we get to it. So after you do that, you want to press graph. And we're going to get a graph that looks like this. There's our blue Y1, and we have our zero in Y2. So just to sketch a little graph so we can see what we're talking about, um, our graph looks a little something like this. And then we also have our y2 is equal to 0. Now the reason why we're going to do that is we're going to find an intersection. Now there are multiple ways to use your graphing calculator to find a 0. There is a 0 feature. However, it is easier to just find the intersection. So to find the intersection or a 0, which is an x-intercept, you press second trace and it'll take you to the calculate menu and number five is intersect now your calculator is going to ask you for the first curve which means what do you have in y1 and what you need to do is you just need to get close to your intersection now since there's only one intersection it's not that important um, to get close but if you had multiple then you would want to get pretty close so from here you just have to click enter and then it'll automatically jump to your second curve or your y2 is equal to zero. You click enter again, and then you click enter one more time for the guess. And it's going to tell you that you have a zero or an x-intercept of 3.457,0. Okay, and we're done. And that represents that point right there, your x-intercept, which is also known as a zero. If there were more than one, you would repeat the exact same steps. You would simply press second, calculate again, and follow the same procedure. Now a y-intercept is extremely simple to do. A y-intercept is always when x is equal to zero. So to do that, we can just press second graph, which will take us to a table. It's a two-column table of the function you typed in. So we just need to look at x is 0, y1 is negative 2. So it's 0, negative 2. That is your y-axis, or your y-intercept. Then we have two other types of extrema called maxes and mins. And again, there could be more than one of each of these. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to find each of them. Now the nice thing is the process is the exact same for these. It's just you have to choose which one you're doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the maximum, which is right here. So to do that, you press second, trace, and we're going to calculate the maximum, which is number four. Now your calculator is going to give you some step-by-step -step instructions. And the first thing you'll see that it says is left bound. So left bound means to take your little spider or your little blinky, whatever you want to call it, and you go to the left side of your maximum. So if your max is right there, you go to the left a little bit. You don't have to go far. And you click enter, and it should give you a little line or a little arrow. And then it says right bound. So that means you take your spider to the right side of your maximum. And you click enter again. And then it's going to tell you to guess so you take your spider to the top of the hill, click enter one more time, and your calculator is going to tell you that you have a maximum at negative 0.155, comma, so negative 0.155, comma, negative 1.921. Okay, now remember, maximums are always at the top of a curve. So it's where it switches from increasing to decreasing. Now a minimum 
follows the exact same procedure. So we're going to be pushing the exact same buttons. The only difference is, is we're going to find this point down here at the bottom of a curve. So we would just press second trace again, which takes us to our calculate menu. And this time we're just going to go to number three minimum instead. But we follow the same procedure. Your calculator is going to ask you for a left bound first. So you go to just the left side of your minimum, click enter. Move your spider to the right side, click enter. And then go down to the bottom of the curve, click enter one more time, and it will give you a minimum at 2.155 comma negative 8.079 okay so again the purpose of this video was to teach you how to use your calculator to find those important points again you can have more than one maximum if you do just go find the max twice if you have more than one minimum or more than one x-intercept you just do it multiple times you will never have more than one y-intercept. Remember, if it has to be a function, each input can give you only one output. So you'll never have more than one y-intercept. All right, that's it for this video. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.